Well, we got to look at uh, GDP first because that's what everybody has been watching and it's up by 3.3%, a significantly higher number than anticipated. The consensus forecast was for 2%. And so uh, the number for the annual rate is going to be very high. I'll have to check that in just a second. Personal consumption comes in at 2.8%. That's a little uh, higher than anticipated, lower than in the third quarter, but still fairly strong. And we'd seen that number uh, previewed in the retail sales report report that we got uh, a couple of days ago. The price index, 1.5%. Uh, uh, on a quarterly basis, the Fed has done its job. But uh, the number that really counts is going to come tomorrow when we get the uh, December number. Core PCE, 2% on a uh, quarterly basis, uh, quarter over quarter. So uh, definitely a drop in inflation in the fourth quarter. Other numbers that really matter, jobless claims popped back up. They were 187 in the initial print last time, 189 revised, but now they're 214. So uh, the number that we got last week was probably seasonally affected, and that's what we said at the time, and it wasn't worth paying attention to, but 214 is still very low. Continuing claims, 1,833,000. That is up from the 1,806 that we got the uh, prior week. Remember, those are delayed a week behind. And then finally, durable goods orders flat on the month. They were expected to be up 1.5%. Remember, they were up 5.4% in the month of November. That's been revised to 5.5. But take out transportation, and it's, uh, it was up just half a percent last month, six-tenths this month. So a lot of that is going to be Boeing numbers, and we can break that out for you in just a little bit. The final most important number uh, for economists and a lot of people on Wall Street, a very strong capital goods orders number in comparison to what was forecast, uh, three-tenths of a percent gain, but that's down from a 1% gain in November. So at the end of the month of uh, December, at the end of the fourth quarter, business is still spending money. But one of the questions about the GDP, and I'll look for this while John catches you up. I, I'm sure, John, that the markets have probably moved on this <laughs> since they were dead We've got before. a small move, Mike. Uh, but, but let's see what business spending was in the, uh, in the fourth quarter. The one kind of hang up here is initial jobless claims ticking up and continuing claims also ticking up just a touch around the margins. I just wonder how long this can continue. And Mike, I'd love you to weigh in. Does it seem like this is a moment in time or is this a trajectory into the immaculate disinflation that this market is leveraged off of? Kind of a combination of both. Um, our guest who's joining us, Matt Lizetti, and I were just talking in the green room about this is a moment in time that we're seeing what we anticipated seeing and what the Fed was hoping to see, which is not immaculate disinflation, but inflation coming down without a major impact on the overall economy because that never happens. Uh, usually they tighten and the economy slows significantly. It has slowed, uh, but it is not dropping off a cliff as people anticipated. But here's something really interesting. I was looking at the business spending number. It's 1.9%, which is not all that great. Uh, it was 1.4% in the third quarter. So this is largely at this point, I haven't completely broken it down, but the consumer played a big role in this. But here's the uh, the um, non-inflation adjusted number, nominal GDP, 4.8%. It was 8.3% in the third quarter. That is not only a reflection of the fact that the economy slowed some, but there you get the, uh, the inflation numbers that came down so significantly are taking away from nominal GDP. And that really stands out as something that has changed in the economy if this continues.